Hello everyone, uh, today I want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c and here we have minus 3 to the power of c is equals to 3 and we solve this problem for the values of c. So here uh, in this question we can solve this problem for two methods and I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now in the first method we can uh, apply here uh, the common logarithm and in the second method uh, we can solve this problem with the help of Euler's identity and natural logarithm okay. And now in the first method we need to apply here the common logarithm on both of the sides but now first we rewrite this equation as we have this is minus 3 and we write it as minus 1 multiplied by 3 and its whole power c is equals to 3. And here we know that uh, iota square is equals to minus 1 so that we can use this nice uh, value of minus 1. So we have, when you put this value here it will become in complex form. So this is iota square multiplied by 3 and its whole power c is equals to 3. And now in the next step uh, we need to take the common logarithm on both of the sides and it will be written as log of 3 times of iota square and its whole power c is equals to log of 3. And now further in the next step we need to move uh, the exponent c in the front of this log and it will become c times of log 3 iota square is equals to log of 3. And here we need uh, two nice properties of log. Uh, so uh, first uh, here we can apply the first property in the above step and here we can apply this nice property if you have log of a to the power of m equals to m times of log a. So in the left hand side we can apply this property and here again in the left hand side we need uh, this property of log. Uh, if we have log of a multiplied by b is equals to log of a plus log of b. And now according to this property of log, um, we can apply this log separately on both of these values and it will be written as c times of log 3 plus uh, log of iota square and this is equals to log of 3. And now further in the next step, uh, we again apply uh, the property of log in this term and it will be written as c times of uh, log of 3 plus here we move this 2 uh, in the front of this log and it will become 2 times of log iota is equals to log of 3. And now for the values of c we need to divide both of the sides by log of 3 plus 2 times of log iota. So we divide this value on both of the sides and it will be written as log 3 divided by log 3 plus 2 times of log iota. Okay. So uh, further in the next step you see here this whole value is cancelled out by this whole value and in the left hand side we get our c is equals to in the right hand side we have log of 3 divided by log of 3 plus 2 times of log iota. So this is the value of c which we get here from first method. And now in the same pattern uh, we can uh, again solve this problem for a second method. And now in the second method uh, here uh, we need to copy down the given question statement here uh, so that our given question statement is minus 3 to the power of c is equals to 3. This is our given question statement. And now in this method we, uh, we uh, use here uh, the uh, nice Euler's identity. So you very well know about the Euler's identity. It is stated as e to the power of iota pi is equals to minus 1. So uh, in order to apply here this nice property we first rewrite this given question statement as in this form this is minus 1 is multiplied by 3 and its whole power c and this term is equals to 3. 
and now here in the next step uh, we can use this Euler's identity here and we can replace this minus 1 equals to e to the power of iota pi so it will be written as e to the power of iota pi multiplied by 3 and its whole power c is equals to 3 and now we are ready to apply uh, the natural log on both of the sides so here we uh, solve this problem with the help of natural log and it will be written as log of 3 times of uh, e to the power of iota pi and its whole power c is equals to log of 3 and now further in the next step uh, we again apply the properties of log here and we move the c in the front of this log and it will become the c times of log 3 times of e to the power of iota pi is equals to log of 3 and now here in the next step we need to apply the second property of log and here you have a product of two numbers inside the log uh, so that we can apply this log separately on both of these values and we will add these two values in this form log 3 plus log of e to the power of iota pi and this is equals to log of 3 and now further in the next step <clears throat> uh, here we can again apply the property of log on this value only so it will be written as c times uh, of log of 3 plus we move this exponent in the front of this log and it will become iota pi times of log e is equals to log of 3 and now further in the next step we have c times of log 3 plus here we have log e is equals to 1 and we get here iota pi is equals to log of 3 and now further in the next step because we solve this problem for the values of c so that's why we need to divide both of the sides by log 3 plus iota pi so here we again divide log 3 plus iota pi so this whole value is cancelled out by this whole value and finally we will get here our c is equals to the log of 3 divided by log of 3 plus iota pi so this is the our uh, final answer of this question which we get here from second method and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos